surprisingly guys, Pinsk has two beaches. This one here is known as Sobachka, which means dog. And why it's known as a dog, I have no idea. But guys, you will never guess what this building here is. It looks like a palace. It's like the facade of Versailles Palace. Any guess, any idea what it is? Anybody? Believe it or not guys, this is the Zags. This is the place where you go to get married. In Ireland and in the UK, most registry offices are very bland, very dull affairs, but not here in Belarus. What a fine building where you go to register your wedding with your loved one. Ah yes, we see the two rings right in front here. That's a giveaway. So this place come weekends, this place is full of happy couples who are married for about a year and then they all get divorced again. Guys, just walking on down by the river here with a friend of mine, Andre, who is a subscriber to my channel. He's been showing me around um, Pinsk, but he doesn't want to appear on camera. And this boat here, it's a river patrol boat, and it took part in the liberation of Pinsk in 1944. It's a river patrol boat and it used to patrol, probably came up that river from Ukraine and it helped to drive the Germans out. In every town and every city that you go to in Belarus, you're constantly reminded of the Great Patriotic War and the suffering that the Belarusian people went through uh, between 1941 and 1944. As I mentioned in my previous video from Maladeshna, something like 2 million Belarusians uh, died during the uh, Nazi occupation. And this lady here, Vera Harusia, she was actually a very famous partisan leader and she operated here in Pinsk. There's a main street near my apartment named after this very brave lady. Also she was given posthumously the hero of the Soviet Union. Check out this really cool building here guys. This was actually a, a Union church. It's from the mid 17th century in the Baroque style. Very, very beautiful, it has to be said. And what the units were, the units were a combination of Orthodox and Catholics who were persecuted uh, during the time of Peter the Great and in the Russian Empire. And when it was a Union church, it was a center of worship. Then it became a, a high school. And now it's actually the local museum. What a remarkable building. Not many buildings like, like these in Belarus. Check this beautiful church out, guys. This is the main Franciscan church, the main Catholic church here uh, in Pinsk. And it was built sometime um, around the early 18th century. And it was added then further in the very early 19th century. beautiful as you can see it's, it is a Polish church even though the population of Polish people isn't so large here a lot of the Catholic Church they still have 
their Polish characteristics in the Polish Republic. Greetings guys, good afternoon. I have uh, arrived in, in Pinsk, checked out the hotel. I walked around here last night and uh, it's quite a nice town, it has to be said. So I'm right here in Lenin Square, Plasha Lenin. Eh? As always guys, as I mentioned in my previous video from Slutsk, I want to dedicate this section to the men and women who perform the tasks and who get recognized for these very, very important tasks that they perform in their local towns and cities. So today, I give you a special section in this video to the men and women, and back by popular demand, I give to you the Doska Pochota, the Hall of Fame. Okay, so there is no place without a Doska Pochota, the Hall of Fame. I think it's actually quite a nice idea, to be honest with you. Okay, Svetlana Zheshka. Uh, okay, she works for director of a company here in in Kobrin. and of course Lydia Savchuk. She's director, and then we have Irina Karpovich. She's the head. She's the director. She's the chief inspector of the local police here. So what do you think, guys? Who's the hottest? Is it Svetlana? Irina? Is the Katerina or Lydia, even Tatiana here below? What do you think? Who's the hottest? 